Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide inactive customers from your combo boxes in your Microsoft Access Forms. Today's question comes from Luis in Santiago, Chile, one of my gold members. Luis says, I have about 10,000 customers in my database, and around a third of them are no longer active, either died, moved out of the area, etc. However, they still show up in my combo boxes. I don't want to delete these customers for accounting purposes, so how can I hide them? Well, Luis, you've got the right idea. You don't want to delete customers, especially if they have contacts or orders in your system, because once you delete them, then all the related records become garbage. So, for the rest of you who have not watched my video on soft delete, go watch that now, and also watch my video on relational combo boxes if you haven't yet. So let's, let's see how we handle this problem. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download from my website. If you want to grab a copy and use, I'll put a link down below in the links section. Now, in our customer form, we already built in the solution to this problem. I have a field here called is active. All right, and if you look at the customer table, all right, you can see is active is right there. And I've got a couple customers marked active, a couple marked inactive. Okay. Now, we really didn't do anything with this. I just put it in there so we had a, a, a yes, no field, a checkbox to work with for our sample classes. But if I go to make an order, okay, I don't want to necessarily have to look down this entire big long list. Yeah, I know the way we have it set up right now, you'd go to the customer record and then you'd hit orders. Oh, I hit contacts, hit orders, and they would show up right, right there. But let's say hypothetically you go right to the order screen. All right, you can open up a blank order, go to a new record, drop this down. You don't want to see everybody. If you got 10,000 customers in your database and a third of them, right, over 3,000 customers are inactive, that's wasting a lot of space in there. So all you really have to do is use that is active field and just don't show those people in this list. All right, let's take a look at how this combo box gets its data. Now, we use the wizard to build this, but if you open up the properties and go to data, right here, you'll see a select statement. All right, an SQL statement. It says select. Basically, you can ignore the first part. It says select customer ID and LF from the customer LFQ. What is customer LFQ? Well, it's this thing. And all this is is it concatenates together the first name and the last name. So it's last name, comma, first name, right? And if you watch the video where I build the tech help free template, you'll see how I put this together. All right, and there it is right there, a little string concatenation. So go watch, go watch this video if you haven't yet already, okay? But all we have to do now with this query is bring is active into it, okay? Set the criteria equals true. Or you can make another separate query if you want to. You want to make a different query? Because some combo boxes you might want to have all the records and some you might want to have just the active customers, right? Maybe, actually, let's leave this guy alone. Let's do this. Save changes, no. Let's copy this and paste it. So copy, paste, right? That's control C, control V. We'll call this one customer LF active Q. So we got two of them, right? Now this one will modify design view. We'll add active in here and we'll set the criteria equals true. Okay, so now when I run this guy, I see just the active customers. All right, save that. Now you can either modify this box if you want to or you can rebuild it with the wizard. I'm just going to modify this SQL statement. Learn SQL, folks. If you're going to be working with databases, learn SQL. It's not that hard. It's real simple. I'll put a link to my SQL basics video. It's got all the basics. It's free. It'll teach you all the, you know, what a select statement is, how to, how to formulate it properly. It's not that hard, guys. You got you to learn a little SQL. I didn't learn SQL until I had been working with Access for probably 10 years, and I wish I would have learned it sooner. But anyways, we can simplify this. We can get rid of all of this stuff here because we, we have w only one table or query in here, so we don't need this. We can make this simpler to read like this, right? Customer ID LF from customer LFQ order by LF. Okay, now we're just going to change this, and we're going to pull the data instead of customer LFQ from customer LF active. We're just going to change what query we're getting our data from. Okay, all right. So save this, close it. All right, now if I go, let's just open up the order form and I go to add a new record. If I drop this down, there you go. 
Now you'll see just the active customers. Notice Deanna Troy is not in there, right? If we go to the customer table, there's Deanna, and she is not an active customer. All right, so if I drop this down to add a new order, she doesn't show up. Okay? So that, in a nutshell, is how you go about hiding inactive customers. You don't want to delete Deanna, right? You, want, you don't want to delete her record because she might still, still have contacts in here you want to keep track of, or she might have older orders. Okay? Now, with this being said, there is one minor problem that you might run into. All right? Let's say Deanna is active. Okay? And let's say she has an order in the system. So, you know, uh, beta Z cream or whatever. All right. Two gallons of beta Z cream. What is, I don't know what beta Z cream is, but it's expensive. Okay. So she's got an order in. It's paid. You've invoiced her. Okay. Now, close this. Later on, she moves. Right, she moves to Rigel 5 or whatever. Okay, so you mark her inactive because she's no longer a customer. Okay, now, if you go to her order, look at that. She doesn't show up in the combo box because the combo box only lists active customers. So, how do you add it so that she shows up in this list alongside all the other active customers? Well, that's going to involve a couple of lines of programming, and I will cover that in the extended cut for the members. So in the extended cut, I will show you how to put Deanna back in the combo box, even though she's inactive for her order. And we'll also make little active, inactive, and all links down here so you can change the customer list and see who you want to see. All right, so here's my customer list. Right now it shows everybody, but if I can go down here, I can click on active, inactive, all right, or all. And if I open up Deanna, even though she's inactive, and I go to the order form, you can see she still shows up in the combo box, along with the other active customers. How do you do all that? Well, that's covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select All to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.